now let us see how to do the propeller uh, block how to do how to fix the propeller now in sheet uh, 2 you have these uh, these parts for the nose block with this we need to fix the propeller for doing the nose block you need a cutting plier it's, that's like with a, with a, it's a nose plier it's called nose plier you get it in any hardware shop keep this now you can remove the plan nose block what we need to do is take this propeller uh, kit open it there's a propeller and uh, you have toothpicks the toothpicks are required after we cover the plan after we cover the model with the paper so keep the toothpicks aside we don't need that now you have one uh, propeller shaft or propeller hook these rubber bands also not required so just these are from sheet 2 these parts are from sheet 2 and you have a thrust button this is called as thrust button now what you do is take these parts which are from sheet 2 the same size there are two from of the same size and three of the same size remove any excess scratch piece of wood that are there yeah now keep it one over the other and laminate it laminating is keeping it one over the other and sticking them together now after you keep the kept them one over the other take this thrust button keep this on the floor and then insert it in the hole slowly very very slowly just gently press it will go inside yes yeah now both are there so now just uh, step but it is not glued the two parts are not glued so now align them together like this and then in the area between the two just slightly open it and apply glue and close it now it will be tight but the thrust button can keep moving freely that's not a problem yes so these two are now laminated well laminated now take these three again align them together the center hole is not exactly in the middle so if you keep it like this the hole will not align ensure that the hole is aligned you just see a single hole yes something like this see this the hole is perfectly aligned now when it is aligned again keep this on the table and the thrust button is here the, the remaining part of the thrust button use that to press it again like this slowly just press it very slowly because otherwise you might break the parts yes yes now it is lined up like this now just apply glue on the side the glue will automatically get into the layers it is very thin so the glue will automatically flow into those layers okay so that's how you do the nose block now the nose block is done to fix the propeller take the a propeller hook this is the back and this is the front insert the propeller hook from the back into the hole it should be loose make sure that no glue goes inside the hole of the thrust button it will block the hole insert it yeah it is spinning freely now take the propeller now the front side of the propeller is the place where it is flat the center is flat that is the front side and 
the back side is this side where there is uh, it is slightly pointy so insert the propeller thrust button the propeller hook through the back of the propeller again now when you inserted it at the back now take the nose plier and at the tip just about 3 millimeter 3 millimeter around here just this much hold it tightly here with your finger and bend it to 90 degrees see this it is bent to 90 degrees now again one more bend we need to do here so, so the second bend is done that again is at 90 degrees and we need to do a third bend again 90 degrees so you see this first bend second bend third bend now why we bent this is because at the front of the propeller there is a small groove here and in that groove this bend will go and catch see this it will go and catch and that is how you fix the propeller okay so now that the propeller is fixed once you have completed the model you just have to insert this slowly like this that's how you fit the propeller okay so now I have uh, removed the excess paper from the cabin and also the fuselage after it has totally dried and the wing top so now it's ready to be assembled to make it look more beautiful what you can do is take the knife uh, open windows for the cabin now there are these uh, sparse inside next to the sparse just cut the paper like this gently cut it yeah Just open two on each side, the front two, the first two, it will look, make the model look beautiful. So now the windows are done. Now to fix this, first what we need to do is, uh, take this elevator and the rudder, the rudder has to be fixed on top of the elevator. Now here you see on the elevator a small uh, hole that we have covered with the paper while you are covering. Open that hole with a knife. The cut the paper out. You see a hole. Now that hole is where this notch has to get in. So hold it and just push it in like this now when you push it in it should stand on its own like this now ensure that this is at 90 degrees the rudder this is the rudder and this is the rear wing and when you ensure that it is in that notch this should be at 90 degrees and when it is at 90 degrees take the super glue and then apply along this corner this corner one drop on this uh, two to three drops on this side and both the corners and while it is drying just ensure that it is at 90 degrees it should be totally at 90 degrees to this this angle and this angle okay so now it is dry it's also there at 90 degrees keep this aside okay now next what to do is you this is a detachable sliding cabin the sliding cabin will keep sliding front and back based on the planes flight characteristics now how to fix this thing is you have these toothpicks give there will be five actually for this model let's see if it is there in the box yes two more are there now what we need to do is take this 
cabin and take two toothpicks just remove the tip the sharpness we don't need that sharp just remove just do keep it on the table and then just roll it and then break off the tip of the toothpick you don't need a sharp tip it's again it can cause injury unintentionally now what you do is keep the toothpick at the front bottom corner of the cabin inside see this here like this and make it centered centered on either side now apply just one drop of glue yeah and one drop of glue here okay yes and again at the last here just puncture the paper and this side also puncture the paper make a hole and insert this second uh, toothpick like this okay now again apply one drop of glue on either side yes now the toothpicks are all fixed yes toothpicks are fixed now with these two toothpicks at the bottom of the cabin we will be for, uh, we will be fixing it to the fuse latch how and before that take another two sets of toothpick this is for fixing the wing now you did it at the bottom of the window now do that at the top of the window like this hold it like this and then apply glue at the corner and both the corners it will get stuck take the second again at the last last window here now the corner earlier you did the bottom corners now you do the top corners okay now again apply just one drop on either side let it dry okay so now how to fix it is just dry check if it is dried before drying don't try to fix it because the cabin will get permanently fixed we don't want that we want the cabin to be movable now keep it aligned like this yes keep keep your finger side on the side so that it should not be like this or tilted way like this exactly lining up on this yeah and then keep it like this and then there were these rubber bands given now to first fix the uh, loosen the rubber band we don't need a tight rubber band just loosen it with hand like this and then the fuse latch and the cabin is fixed the bottom to pick roll it around and under the fuse latch and here the same way here the bottom toothpick use the bottom toothpick for fixing the cabin to the fuse latch now the cabin is fixed to the fuse latch next what you do is for fixing the wing take the wing the center spar is here you can see that and line the center spar on the top of the fuse latch like this top of the cabin and take the other two rubber bands and slide it here one just on the top and then pull it crossways and the front here same way from this to pick put the rubber band cross the wing and push it here now the wing is fixed yes now one the once the wing has been fixed these two are also connected tight now keep this exactly now while keeping it tilt it around and you see this this v the tip has to be lined up with the rudder and the front should be centered like this okay now hold it like this yeah and also from the front you just have a look so that this way 
the rudder is exactly lining up to the front and once it lines up and you are sure that it is correct take the glue super glue pour it along the corner one drop at the front one drop at the back on either side keep your fingers far away because the glue may run and then touch your finger now after that it will be difficult for you to remove your finger and you may break the part yes so that's how the little flyer has used to be done.